so in this video we are going to learn about applications of unitary method in our daily lives now let us start with the first example so we have that if the cost of six cans of juice is 210 what is the cost of four cans of juice now how do we formulate this so what we are given here is that we have six cans of juice and six cans cost 210 and we are asked that four cans cost how much we do not know so in this can case we know that we have to find out the value of four cans of juice but we don't know what is the value so what we will do is we will find out the value of one can of juice and then if we multiply it by four we get the cost of four cans of juice so in this case the cans the number of cans okay the number of cans is a known quantity we know that there are four number of cans and the cost of number of cans is an unknown quantity so now let us use the unitary method to calculate the cost of four cans of juice so from this statement six cans let us change the color so six cans cost 210 therefore one can will cost we simply divide the total cost divided by the number of cans that is 6 and when we simplify this we get this price as so let's just divide this by okay what if I try to divide this by 3 first so 3 times 70 is 210 and 3 times 2 is 6 okay we can still divide this further so 2 times 35 gives me 70 therefore the cost of one can is 35 now it is very easy for us to find out the cost of four cans four cans of juice costs it is simple the price of one can okay price of one can multiplied by the number of cans which is 4 in our case so this becomes 35 by 4 which will give us 140 therefore 4 cans of juice costs 140 and this is how we have used the unitary method to calculate the cost of a different number of cans now let us look at other example similar example but in a different context a motorbike travels 220 km in 5 liters of petrol how much distance will it cover in 1.5 liters so how do we understand this problem so see we know that liters is there on both the sides we know that liters are there and kilometer is known in one case but the distance is not known in the other case so I can say that in 5 liters okay in 5 liters we can cover the motorbike can cover 220 kilometers therefore in 1.5 liters what is the distance that can be covered now again we can use a unitary method if we find out the distance covered in one liter of petrol okay we can find out how much distance is covered in one and a half liter so we proceed as usual 5 liters covers 220 kilometers therefore 1 liter covers 220 divided by 5 or it is 5 times 4 is 20 and 5 times 4 is 20 so it covers 44 kilometers now 
1.5 liter petrol covers how much distance it is simply the distance covered by 1 kilometer which is 44 kilometers multiplied by the petrol that is 1.5 1.5 now how do we write this 1.5 we can write this as 44 into 1 plus 1 by 2 and then we use this property of multiplying the 44 with this 1 and then we multiply this again with 1 so 44 plus 44 by 2 which gives us 44 plus 22 or this equal to 60 kilometers 66 kilometers so one and a half liter will help us cover 66 kilometers let us look at one more example so now we have a car travels 90 kilometers in two and a half hours how much time is required to cover 30 kilometer with the same speed and find the distance covered in two hours with same speed now these are two separate problems here in the first one what is unknown is the time we don't know the time required to cover 30 kilometers and in the second case we have to find out the distance but we are given the time so these are two separate problems so we will do it in two steps so first we have part a in where we have to find out the time to cover 30 kilometers with same speed so let us try to understand this problem here and formulate it so we are given that uh, 90 kilometer is covered in two and a half hours and 30 kilometers is covered in how much time we don't know that so we first find out how much time does it take for us to just cover one kilometer and that we can do using this the first statement so one kilometer is covered in 2.5 2 and a half is 2.5 divided by 90 or if I just multiply both the numerator and denominator by 12 that is 2.5 into 10 and 90 into 10 so we get 25 by 900 so 1 kilometer is covered in 25 by 900 hours we'll no, not simplify it further because we we'll simplify it in the next step therefore to cover 30 kilometers covered is covered in time required to cover 1 kilometer which is 25 by 900 and we multiply it by 30 now we know that 30 times 30 gives us 900 so that is 25 by 30 and then 25 by 30 so we can divide both the numerator and denominator by 5 so which is 5 by 6 okay 5 by 6 so the distance 30 kilometer is covered in 5 by 6 hours you can also convert this into minutes by multiplying both the both by multiplying this by 60 because one hour is 60 but in this case we won't multiply it by both the numerator and denominator by 60 it's just because this hours is what we need to convert so it will eventually turn out to be 50 minutes I don't have the space here therefore I'm not doing the calculation but it is fine if we represent this as 5 by 6 hours this is also a correct representation now let us take the another example example B where we know that now we are going to reformulate this in a different way so we know that 2.5 hours is required to cover 90 kilometers so in two hours how many kilometers are we going to cover given that the same speed is there it's very important we drive with the same speed so in this case we know that the time is known but the distance is not known so we simply have to find out how much distance is covered in one hour 
so in one hour we find out using this node information here so we simply say that 90 kilometers divided by 2.5 again what we can do is multiply both the numerator and denominator by 10 to simplify so we have 25 900 by 25 now we can say that in two hours so if in one hour we will cover 900 by 25 kilometers so therefore in two hours we can cover 900 by 25 into 2 so when we first simplify this so 5 times 5 is 25 5 times 1 is 5 5 eights are 40 so 5 by 180 again we can simplify 5 threes are 15 and 5 6 are 30 so it is 36 multiplied by 2 which is 72 kilometers so in 2 hours we can cover 72 kilometers so this was an interesting example now in the next video we will cover some more examples based on the unitary method